What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another video. So lately on YouTube, I've been bombarded with these ads for Tony Hawk's new masterclass. All the stuff you see in video games, we're gonna show you how to do it in real life. And you know, it really got me thinking, what the fuck is this shit? So in this video, I am going to review Tony Hawk's masterclass because, well, because I'm a YouTuber and I thought it would make a good topic. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm sure you've seen the ads as often as I have. I'm Tony Hawk and this is my masterclass. I'm sure you're curious what this class is all about. So I decided to take one for the team and drop 180 bucks on a masterclass subscription. So I better land a friggin' McTwist by the end of this class. I have since noticed that my homie John posted the same exact video. It happens, you know, YouTuber instincts kind of they be, you know. <laughs> In all honesty, my primary question about this class is who is this for? Is this actually a good class that teaches you skateboarding or inspires you in some way? Or is this just some bullshit? Without further ado, I did sit through this about two hour long class. Let's get into this review. All right, so I took this entire class. It's about two hours long. And this masterclass is basically a combination of fairly mediocre trick tips, an overview of Tony Hawk's coming of age slash success story in skateboarding, as well as this just general depiction of skateboarding as this beautiful activity. There's definitely this weird mix between like gnarly skate vibes. The gnarly, the awesome Tony Hawk. Uplifting inspirational vibes. Skateboarding will teach you the value of perseverance and then just mediocre trick tips. It's like an ollie, but instead of just leveling out your board, use your front foot to flip the board. And it's all kind of encapsulated by this like professionally produced, potentially overly artsy, like just really well put together package of video content. So it's two hours of video content, but it's broken down into 16 lessons. They definitely try to portray this as like a class, whatever that means in the context of skateboarding. I think it's so interesting because you really learn skateboarding by doing, you know, having a mentor always helps Helps, but I don't know. I just feel like skateboarding doesn't fit into that like kind of academic feeling, but that's what they did here in this masterclass. The bulk of this class is filmed at Woodward West, but there's also a fair share of nostalgic retro Tony Hawk footage. It's mostly Tony Hawk talking to you, but Riley Hawk does some trick tips. Did you notice the lights flickering? That happens when my AC kicks in. It's very interesting. Riley Hawk comes in with a couple of trick tips and so does Lizzie Armanto. And I will say from like a viewing entertainment perspective, it was definitely refreshing to get those new faces. So I will say after watching this entire class, I did feel like I got something out of it from an entertaining and potentially an inspirational aspect, but I'm still kind of confused who this class is for. Or more generally what the point is besides driving signups to masterclass using Tony Hawk's name and branding. <laughs> so Tony Hawk himself claims that this class is for anybody who wants to learn how to skate or find motivation in life in general. This class is for anyone that wants to start skating, learn the basics and improve upon their skills if they already have the basics. It's gonna make you a better skater and hopefully you can use this motivation in any walk of life. So that's a pretty wide audience. But in my honest opinion, this is not a great class if you wanna learn the nuts and bolts and technicalities of how to actually ride your skateboard and learn tricks. That's just not what this is. So before I start roasting these trick tips and this class in general, I will say I did pick up a few insights that I thought were interesting. Tony definitely shines when he's teaching the vert skating because that's his thing. For example, when he teaches the backside ollie, which is absolutely beautiful. He did sprinkle some really interesting insights into there that I never would have thought about. As you start to come back down, you continue to straighten your legs and keep pressure on your board. I mean, that's the key. Like you're riding just a wall up in the air. It definitely kind of made me want to hit a vert ramp and try these things, even though I, I don't think I'm really at the level where I can <laughs> just blast an ollie out of the vert ramp and see what happens. But I definitely felt inspired and like these were interesting technicalities of the trick to think about. There was also some really interesting insights on competition skating, something I'm also totally inexperienced with. Stay conservative with the tricks that you know you, you're gonna make, the ones that you have dialed in. If that gets you to the next stage of competition, build upon that. I thought maybe if I was a young skater looking into competitions that I would have thought this stuff was interesting. And the freaking McTwist. Tony does talk about the McTwist in this masterclass. So a 540, more commonly known as a McTwist. I didn't know it was a 540. I thought it was like a fucking somersault while you eat a McDouble or some shit. But you know, it's not like I'm gonna go out and try a McTwist after watching this class, but I did think it was interesting hearing, <laughs> hearing him describe it. The key is in the snap. This class definitely deserves some credit because I left feeling inspired to hit the vert ramp, which is cool. I don't know if it's worth 180 bucks, but 
But honestly, I think I think these trick tips are kind of ass. Overall, the trick tips in this masterclass are just very surface level describing the trick. There's not too many like tips really, especially watching Riley Hawk give his trick tips. It's like he's getting into some of the complicated tricks and he just barely describes them. Roll up parallel to the bench with it on your backside. Rotate your shoulders as you always, turning backside 90 degrees and landing with your tail on the edge of the bench. You know, it's like pop your board, flick off to the side, catch, land. Like who is that helping, you know? Tony Hawk and Bucky Lassick even a long time ago made these vert trick tips that go way more in depth than he goes in this class. Grab the board as you lift the front wheels off the wall and hold it tight to keep your back foot on. There's a few things that can go horribly wrong and hang up on a backside air is not a pretty one. I definitely get the sense that they prioritize like the artsiness and the professional production over actually getting into the nuts and bolts of each trick in order to teach them effectively. So there's a lot of things I want to point out on this note. For example, I one point, Tony Hawk himself says that what he's teaching you in this masterclass, your bro can teach you at the skate park in five seconds. Down the alleyway, asking him, how do I turn? How do I turn? And he yelled back, lean. That was my masterclass from my brother. Which is kind of true. <laughs> you know, like one of the best ways to learn skateboarding is to go out skating with your friends, watch your friends do the tricks, and then ask for pointers from them. That's a way more collaborative, effective, quicker way to learn how to skate. That's not to totally bash the concept of trick tips. I definitely think trick tips can help but not these ones so much bottom line is the more you skate the more confident you get and the better you're gonna be oh i need to spend time on my board like instead of watching this two hour long master class oh shit, could i get my 180 bucks back you know, like there's kind of an irony in watching a long class about skateboarding on your computer that tells you to just go skate. And yeah, I definitely got the sense that they just like picked a random assortment of tricks. There's no real order to them. Like somehow it goes from like kickflip to like feeble down a handrail. And then when Lizzie teaches some tricks on the bowl, one of them is like fakey disaster to Smith. For a fakey disaster Smith. Approach the coping going backwards. That's the kind of trick that you just like throw together when you're already super comfortable at skating. So like why, why, you know, why? Like I feel like this would have been more effective if there was a progression, you know, kind of describing what tricks you want to try after one another instead of just this random like, bleh. So, Backside Smith grind. Back Smith on vert? Are you kidding me? I'm genuinely wondering like how many people are gonna watch this masterclass and then drive to the skate park and go try a back Smith on vert. I'm guessing it's like six people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like I feel like most of the people who are at the point of maybe trying to back Smith on vert are not gonna need to watch this class. And yeah, you know, generally speaking, when I was watching through these trick tips, I thought it was more description as opposed to actually teaching. The heel flip is pretty much the opposite of the kick flip. It was also just kind of boring and I think I really just didn't like how professionally produced it was. I think the best trick tips on YouTube are ones where you feel like it's the homie just kind of walking you through the trick. I want to shout out the Skate Hacks channel, one of my favorite trick tip channels. I watch this dude's back three trick tip over and over and over again because he's just like, you know, the production quality doesn't matter. He explains the trick well, he gets good angles of the trick, and he talks about these mindset tips that could help you think about it. I just didn't get a lot of that actual insight from this masterclass. Something that also bummed me out about the vert section of these trick tips is there was no discussion of what kind of skate setup you want. This is personally something that I'm curious about. I'm a street skater. I don't skate a lot of vert. You know, I would have just loved a discussion about these intricacies, the, this kind of thing that would really help you learn the things that they're talking about. But I just really found this to be very surface level, kind of, you know, just like fluffy, just kind of bullshit. Yeah, you know, Lizzie's frontside ollie trick tip was pretty cool. It's really cool to watch how she does the trick, but there could have been more juicy details in here. So for example, one time at Cooper Skate Park, I overheard somebody say that when you're doing a frontside ollie out of a ramp, you want to land at the same angle that you exited the ramp. So like if you come super wide, you want to land super wide. And if you're coming super straight up, you want to land super straight down. So like, you know, that sort of thing, that sort of hack that can really help you figure out a trick. I wish there was more of that. So I just roasted the absolute living crap out of the trick tips in this masterclass and it's because they're not that good. They care way more about the cinematics than actually teaching the tricks. Now I will say this kind of artsy style of filmmaking does work really well when they're actually going through Tony Hawk's growing up story and when they're talking about like the beauty of skateboarding. That stuff, it does work. Because it can truly teach kids a sense of self-confidence that they never found anywhere else. That's what it did for me. In that 
case, the artsy cinematography actually makes the story feel inspirational. Yeah, there are definitely moments that are like infused with nostalgia and emotion that actually gave me the chills and made me feel a little bit emotional. And, and it's not a matter of you have to be super good. You just have to be willing to try. It's always cool to hear Tony Hawk give the story about the first 900. I tried my first 900 in 1989. That's like the quintessential battling a trick story that every skateboarder can relate to when we want something so bad and it's just not coming and it's not coming. I was like, I'm either gonna make this trick or they're gonna take me away in an ambulance. But you just keep trying and eventually you get it. The 900 part of the lesson plan really captured that and there's a lot more relatable skateboarding moments throughout that will make you feel special and proud and happy to be a skateboarder. You know, there's some funny parts about Tony Hawk's story that I've never heard. You get to see this awesome picture of angsty Hawk. He tells you about how Thrasher bullied him, which is kind of hilarious. They would write about me in Thrasher magazine, Tony Hawk, the king of no style. Don't, bullying is bad though, bullying is bad. As many times as the inspirational moments work, there's also corny moments where they flop. Hop over, turning your shoulder, pushing down on your nose, and then leaning towards your back foot as you land. Why are you, why are you swelling the emotional music when Tony Hawk is talking about pivoting your front side 180? Like, that is cringe alert, you know? <laughs> like why why then and like when he's like going through some of the basics it's just like filmed so dramatically oh yeah that foot stop was intense you know <laughs> a lot of corny moments not gonna lie but in, in a way like since i found them so funny it like kept me entertained but yeah like i said the class does touch on the beauty of skateboarding it is a community of individuals that all have their own pursuits but come together in a sense of camaraderie that i i've never found anywhere else you know and it definitely gave me chills and made me feel good the lesson for me was do what you love because that is the definition of success. You know, that's right. Do what you love. Skateboarding really does teach us this. So yeah, the class did give me a nice sort of euphoric sense of, ah, skateboarding is great and I'm happy to be a skateboarder. So that's the class. In terms of the actual educational aspect of learning the technicalities of skateboarding, the trick tips, they just don't make sense, really. It's all over the place. They're not that good. They almost feel out of place. This almost feels like it should just be a little documentary about Tony Hawk, but they like kind of threw in these trick tips so that they could call it a masterclass, if that makes sense. So is this class good and is it worth it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> is this class ass? Kind of. It depends what you're looking for, I think. If you're actually trying to learn how to skate, this class is ass and you don't want to sign up for this class, you are much better off looking up each thing you want to learn on YouTube. If you're looking for an experience that inspires you, then maybe this class is for you. I definitely don't think it is worth $180, but if like you were gonna maybe sign up for this service anyways, then perhaps. Bottom line is after watching this class, I felt happy and proud to be a skateboarder and inspired to go outside and skate, but I did not take away too much applicable knowledge about skateboarding from this class. Like a beginner, if you sign up for this class, like you can listen to Tony Hawk describe the ollie for a minute and you might think it's kind of helpful, but then by the end he's talking about frontside rock into a vert ramp like pure death. <laughs> I definitely don't know who this is for. I think this class is for Masterclass to pick up a new audience because uh, Tony Hawk has great name recognition and they're probably gonna get a bunch of signups, even if it's just John and I for making these videos, you know? We gave them money. You know, it's well made. I just don't think it's the best thing to watch if you actually want to learn how to skate. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys didn't know, the Aero Skateco Summer Line already sold out of t-shirts, unfortunately, but we still have some of these hats and these socks that I'll put up on the screen. You can cop those at the link at the top of the description if you want to support my content. I really appreciate it. Working on the full length street video, that's going to be several months into the future, but get hyped for that. It's been like consuming this whole big part of my skate life and it is so beautiful and awesome and I can't wait to share with you guys. You know, I'd be, I'd be working on stuff. I hope you guys are all doing well, you know, staying safe during the pandemic and whatnot because that's still happening and hopefully you have air conditioning. It do be hot as shit. Yo, I'm also learning how to bike. We got to do a setup video. I got a lot to tell you guys. All right, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Shred on.
I ain't trying to die. So it's not all bad. It's just like, 